Hey guys, I'm Boot. We're in New Jersey, and today I want to show you guys the new Google OS Flex. Um, it's a new version of Google operating system that just came out for, I guess, basically for the consumer PC. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to get started doing this. So this is the way you can use Chrome OS on your PC. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to this page. This is to get Chrome OS Flex help. So you can create the installer and all that, but first things first you want to do is go ahead and go to your um, Chrome OS web store. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the web store. Now they've disabled this in the past, and this is the Chromebook recovery. So we'll say recovery, and we'll hit enter, and there it is right there, Chromebook recovery uh, utility. This has been recently added, so go ahead and click on it, and it'll say add to Chrome here. Uh, right now I have this here, so it says remove from Chrome, but anyways, and then what you want to do is go into your extensions. So you're going to go to your extension thing here. Uh, it's usually a little puzzle piece. Scroll down till you find it. I'm going to go to my extensions. I'm going to open, scroll down. There it is, Chromebook Recovery Utility. So that's what you're going to open up. And it's going to give you this page here. You're going to go ahead and get started. You need an 8 gigabyte or larger flash drive. Um, just to give you a heads up, these do have persistence. So you can use uh, the flash drive, but it's going to have to be a lot bigger than 8 gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and click get started and we're going to go ahead and select a model from the list, select a manufacturer and go down to Google Chrome OS Flex. Now Google Chrome OS, I see you see it here, but the problem is, is that is for uh, Chrome boxes and the such. So we'll just go ahead and go to uh, OS Flex. Um, this is going to be a developer unstable build. So guys, as you can see here, um, this Chrome OS Flex is currently an early access testing release, not a readily available. So if you do download this or you use Cloud Ready, uh, just know that Chrome, um, actually I should say Google, bought um, Cloud Ready's company. I think they're called Neverware. Um, and I've been using Cloud Ready for a while now. I just think it's a very subpar wannabe Chrome OS operating system and that's a problem for me because I do like to have those uh, those little caveats that come with Chrome OS um, like being able to use the Linux terminal and Linux environments inside of Chrome OS um, I think that's a really cool step in its evolution and I think for this other company using Cloud Ready it was kind of a a bittersweet slap in the face to people who had PCs that wanted to use Chrome OS and go continue and now you're going to select the media that you'd like to use I'm going to use this um, Kingston data uh, traveler 14 gig um, USB stick put that into my computer <clears throat> and yeah whatever it doesn't matter if there's a problem with the drive or not um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick that drive from here, continue, create now. And basically what this will do is it will download a copy of Chrome OS Flex and then write it to that flash drive so you can put it into your computer and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll come back when this is done writing because it does take a little while to write. Also, guys, you want to remember to uh, click yes when the Windows prompt comes up. Uh, you might even hear it and it might not pop up. I know that tends to happen sometimes. So look in your taskbar for a Windows Shield icon to say yes, you allow you know this Chrome recovery uh, program to make changes to your flash drive. So you have to say yes to that. And as you can see, guys, it says success. Your recovery media is ready. You can now remove your um, disk.
So guys, we are now looking at our Chromebook desktop. Um, basically went to my other laptop um, just because I was having a little bit of trouble with the touch screen uh, on the other laptop and that was not, it was, wasn't giving me full functionality. Um, so I just went to my regular uh, laptop and this is a Dell, I want to say it's an Inspiron. Um, it's an older Inspiron, I know that because it has an Intel mobile chip in it, um, pretty old dual core. But, you know, just to show you what kind of uh, systems these things can be run on. Right now I have it on mirroring mode and I'm recording through game capture. So just to show you one of the main things right off the bat that I want to look into and make sure that it's here is the Google Play Store. Let me go ahead down here. Let me look through some of these. Here we got Google. We got some other apps here. We got some play things, file systems. Um, so some of this will be, you know, able to be used. Some of it will not. Like I said, having persistence means that basically you need some room. And unfortunately, uh, in this 14 gig, I'm not going to be able to do that. I have a few gigs free and that's it. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I got this. I haven't uh, yet installed it, but I might do that soon. Um, so, like I said, this is a dual core, so it tends to be a little slower. But if I go into, like, say, YouTube and I go to check out a video, I have to downgrade the quality on this to bring it to where it needs to be. But on my other laptop, it wouldn't do that. Um, fortunately, this laptop had an HDMI I could grab it from so I didn't have to do what you guys saw earlier in the install um, and like I was saying this has persistence so what it will do is it will um, go ahead and save your settings to the flash drive and whatnot I'm gonna go ahead and block those uh, here's Super Bowl movie trailers um, yeah sure why not let's jump into some of this oh your old PC is your new server very cool, very cool. I love some LTT. So as you can see, I've got this going on here as well. Okay, and I can see myself in the camera, so it's a little bit potato, but not like super bad. Uh, it's a little worse in the recording than it is in front of my face, but I mean, this is what you get. Um, so basically I can, let me see if I can send a call. Cool. So I'm going to admit. Cool. Turn your phone sideways. Cool. Right. So basically we're having a conversation right now. And um, I don't know if you can hear me through the microphone or not, but uh, yeah, basically this is a uh, conversation. <laughs> so uh, just basically showing you that the video features of this work as well. And I'm coming through clear. Okay, cool. And you're coming through clear on my end. So this works on a dual core laptop. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else that I can say about this. Uh, I don't know how it performs in gaming or anything like that, but if you're looking to get an old laptop back up and running, this is the way to do it. Uh, the hardest part is if you do use a flash drive, make sure that the flash drive has a light on it because what will happen is when you shut this down, it will shut down, but it writes to the drive. And then it shuts down and then the light stays blinking on the drive. So you may have to hard power it down. I noticed this on one of my laptops that did this. Uh, I don't know about any other laptops, but I would love to see if you guys get this running on anything else. Like I said, links for the directions for this are linked in the description. And you can follow along in the YouTube video with what I did and uh, just go from there. Burn it to a... Uh, you know, burn it to a flash drive, pop it in, and run it live. 
So guys, that's pretty much all I have to tell you about this system. Um, basically, if you want to revamp your old PCs with some new life, um, you can try this and see. But it may vary from system to system, and the parts like the Linux and the imperfections with Google Play Store and things like that, those will, I would imagine, be fixed in an update when Google gets a hold of this project to the fullest. Right now, this is a developer build, which means it's not fully done yet. Um, I understand, you know, things are never really fully done because we constantly get updates. But we will get updates on uh, Cloud Ready, and we will get the Cloud Ready 2.0, or I should say 3.0, when that comes out. And hopefully that'll be a little bit better. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to get this on your system. And I really, really want to hear from you guys if you get it on your system and it's running great. Let me know. Uh, also, let me know if you guys have any tips with this as well uh, down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.